This video is a brief overview of the Axiom product, Microsoft Ops Importer. Getting your bills of materials from Excel or general notes from Word into your DGNs is a pain. And it's required in just about every MicroStation project you do. You can use MicroStation to copy the text directly into your DGN, but the formatting is garbage. You could get good formatting by just importing a picture, but no one wants it. What you need is a magic tool that will paste in your Word and Excel data with great formatting, using real MicroStation elements, and that allows you to wrap your paste to fit your borders perfectly. Oh, and it already exists. You can do all this in just a few clicks. I can show you in a matter of minutes. When you install any Axiom product, you'll have this Axiom pull-down menu with a bunch of tools on it. Uh, but specifically with Microsoft Ops Importer, you actually get a palette that loads automatically as well. Uh, and here that is, I always, it, it'll always be floating when you first install it, but I keep it up here docked just for keep my workspace clean. And so the purpose of Microsoft Ops Importer is to copy Word or Excel information into MicroStation as linked data. And I'll show you what that means. The first thing I'll show you is Excel. And you can see here, I've got notice actually, just to take a quick note on this, first five rows got a bunch of header data. You'll want to know about that. Remember that a little bit down the line. So first I'm going to go ahead and select this. And by the way, you can if if you want to copy everything that's in your spreadsheet, you can just hit the um, show you just a second here. Once I get to the end of this monster, there it is. I'm just going to copy that. But you can, if you're going to copy it all, you can hit this button, this top left here button, and that will select everything. And that works too. In a case like this, that would work, but I want to show you that you can select things individually as well. All right, so now that I've got it on my clipboard, back to MicroStation, and we're just going to click the Paste button here on our very first button on our palette. And it's a big monster paste, so it'll take a few seconds to get itself ready to actually hit the DGM. And now we're ready. And you see it shows the outline of how big this thing's going to be, and we can control the top left corner so that we can put it exactly where we want. And you'll notice there's no way it's going to fit in this border. And I'll show you what we do for that. This is the, the box that comes up when it's ready to paste. And you'll notice here you have split paste in the columns. And so what that would let you do is basically wrap this thing. And I'll show you that. But I also want to turn on this repeat X less header. And remember, I meant we showed you the five header rows. So those are the ones you're going to want to repeat. You may not always want to do that but I'm gonna do it just so you can see. That looks pretty good. And there we have it. You see up here the rows. Uh, not only are you wrapping, but you're, you're keeping the header rows on top as well. Always an option if you choose to. Now, what do we mean by linked data? That is, if we go in here and go back up to the top thing, make some changes, And we'll just save that again. And we're going to use this manage option here and choose the update button. And what it's going to do is it's going to reevaluate the source file that we copied from, that we did the original paste from, and just take a look and find anything that's new. And then uh, once it's ready, or once it's done, it will reapply the data. So here we go. Let's just zoom in, and you can see all the changes we made. And the only other thing I'd like to add about this is um, this comes in as a cell, but what's actually here is, is simple text and lines. So if you were to drop this, it is real MicroStation elements. There's no pictures or weirdness here. It's real MicroStation data. So that's it on Excel. Uh, I also wanted to show you Word because um, Word, it works the same way, but there's another aspect to it that's important to see. So you'll see here. I've got a multi-page doc. I'm just going to select that. Back to MicroStation. We're going to do the same deal. And here we are. Again, we want to split paste in the columns so we fit into our border. And that works nicely. And the thing I wanted to show you about Word is how it really handles the column integrity. We're just going to add some stuff here. 
It doesn't matter what we add. The point is to be able to uh, elongate it so you can see what happens. Save that. Let's come back. Just like before, choose the update button. And you'll notice you're basically keeping the same column lengths. And all it does is push and wrap around. And so it, it maintains the integrity of your columns, which is exactly what you would hope for. So that's it on that. And the other couple things I just want to show, what we did here is all out of the box. There was no settings changes. But you can, if you want to, change fonts, colors, weights, styles. Um, when you're dealing with Excel, you can change border weights and colors and whatnot. Uh, there are many other options uh, to, to pretty much accommodate everyone who's got to do any pasting of any sort. And that is about it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.